it? It's filming out now. I remember the one time Gerald came to our house camping. Uh, he was going to stay with us for two days and then go down to Cornwall camping. Ended up staying for nine days at my house. Um, uh, never made the camping. Just like the sun in the back garden and the pool we had. And that was Gerald for you. Well, I always remember Gerald when we first met. Um, Yvonne, Mike's partner, has now uh, moved on. But uh, it was all down to wine and my elderberry wine that we ended up eating round at Jerry's, South African style food and the elderberry wine finished the night off. I think we went to bed around about four o'clock in the morning and the girls, Yvonne's daughters, were supposed to be at school but it never happened. Jerry always had a smile on his face, always got time for everybody and what can you say about Jerry? Always look on the bright side of life and he was a whistler, a bit like myself. Anyway that's from Peter Pan and there we go. And if you don't, there we go, that's what Peter Pan's going to do. Have you done that bit? Yeah. This shirt is in honor of Jerry, my dad. He wasn't my real dad, but he might as well have been. <laughs> he was more of a dad to me than any I've ever had. And he was always there whenever I was getting into trouble, fighting with my mom. Jerry was the mediator that sorted things out and talked me down. He seemed to be the only one that knew how to talk me down. And I will always remember him pottering in the garden in his white shorts with Duncan in the wheelbarrow. Shall we say a few words about Jerry? We'll miss you very much. And what do you remember most about him? Our long conversations, deep conversations, how we're going to write the world and try to figure out people and our scuba diving stories because I'm a scuba diver as well and he could relate to me and I could relate to him with regards to his scuba diving stories. I miss his popping out for the weekends, I miss his holidays, his Christmases with us and we love you. There's a lot to say about my dad, um, to sum it up, he could drive anyone nuts, but at the same time he was such a lovable character and uh, he could make anyone laugh um, and he will be missed. That's lovely, thank you dad. I'm sure Jerry would, and I'm, I'm wondering if he still got, got or he still had in his possession a very um, famous Christmas present. Do you remember it one year? I brought the him around. The apron. The apron. The apron. I have a picture of the apron. You see, Jerry was our chef. He did all the cooking because one could not rely on Claire to have the dinner. So one Christmas, I came round with his Christmas present, which was an apron with big muscles. Big muscles. Like a Tarzan. Yes. No, David, not muscles. It was excellent. And with a sort of... It is an appropriate picture. Well, um, and he looked mighty fine in it. He did indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you're right, Jerry. I'm so sad that you've gone now. I'll always remember knocking on the door to come see Duncan. You turn up, saying hello, and that was literally the last thing I could ever understand. Um, you know, it's so sad that you've gone, so we miss you lots and um, I, don't, I don't know how to finish it now. <laughs>